Hey y'all, it's Mike here from Mike Stickers. I wanted to talk to y'all today about maintenance that I do on the Roland BN20 or lack thereof maintenance because I don't really do much. So I'm gonna talk about it. So stay tuned for this video. Hey guys, please like, share, subscribe to help support the channel. In case you didn't know, it doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to actually sign up for anything when you subscribe. It's just one click and it really greatly supports this channel. Um, today I want to talk to you all about the maintenance that I'm doing on my Roland. You know, there's not really so much stuff that comes up on it. There's not really much I have to do. So that's really what it comes down to is I use it every single day. Um, there's maybe a day or two that goes by sometimes when I don't use it, but other than that, I'm using it all the time. I think that's what helps, you know, keep it working good. And, um, you know, I think that for people that let it sit for a long time and don't use it often, I think that's when you start to have problems with it. So that's really kind of my, um, logic behind it. So I'm going to show y'all every now and then I do have to clean off something. I'm going to show y'all that today. Um, the only time I really ever do anything as far as cleaning it is if the color starts to smear on the page when I'm printing. And that's very, very um, infrequently. It's only happened a few times ever since I've had this machine. And I think I'm going on maybe uh, a little over a year of having this machine now and using it almost on a daily basis. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Um, I don't have any smeared images to kind of show you that, but obviously when it starts smearing ink on there, you know it's time to clean something. So I have cleaned the print head like two or three different times since I've owned it. Um, and it's something that's kind of scary because if you do it wrong, you can mess it up and it's like a $2,000 mistake at least. But um, for the most part, all I'm cleaning off is the media clamp, the little metal tabs that hold down on the vinyl. Sometimes those get ink on them and I clean that off. Other times I have to clean a little bit more, but it's real simple to do. I'll show you how to do it. All right, so this, this is what I'm gonna to use to clean it with. It has some solution that it, that it came with. Um, this stuff works way better than anything else. I've tried rubbing alcohol and it does not work as good. And then it has these swabs. You have to use this type. Don't use um, Q-tips or anything like that because it will leave lint. The lint will get stuck in the print head and it will ruin it. Um, I one time think I used cotton instead of uh, some sort of cotton type tip instead of this and it definitely messed it up. Um, I, had, I cleaned it immediately afterwards and I was able to save it. But you don't want to use the wrong thing. Also, you don't want your vinyl um, going all the way down, hitting the ground, and then putting it back through to cut it, because when you cut it, that print head and everything's still gonna come over it when it's cutting, and it's gonna ruin the print head. So don't do that. Um, if It's another reason to not print and cut on this machine, honestly. It's better to just print and then um, cut on something like a, a BN or a, a Graftec. Anyways, let me see if I can show you what's going on. So I don't know how visible this is, but there is some red ink on, some magenta ink on the pinch roller, or on the, uh, whatever, not the pinch roller, but the, the pinch tab, whatever, the guide, the tab, the, I don't know what you call it. I can't think right now. So I'm gonna dip the, I'm gonna dip this in there get a little bit on there kind of push it against the edge so it isn't dripping all over the place and then i'm gonna simply wipe that up it really doesn't really doesn't like what i'm doing here all right so i'm gonna do it on that side and then i'm gonna come over here and do it on this side also So I got so much beeping going on right now. All right, so that's it for what I do whenever it smears. Now, like I said, it's good to just use it every single day. And as you can see, you know, it took a bunch of ink off there and it loads it up pretty quick. So sometimes you have to go through several of these and I'm almost out. I only have a few more here, I think. Let me see, I got four more of them here in this pack that came with it. 
I had another pack that I think had some, but you can buy those on bulk in bulk on Amazon or like AliExpress, different places. You you don't have to buy them directly from Roland. Um, they're real expensive from Roland. So yeah, so that's how you do it on there, and then you let it dry a little bit before you start printing so it doesn't smear some more. And um, if it ends up getting real bad, then you need to print, uh, clean the print head also. But, uh, yep, I'm going to run a print check. It is good to, to do a uh, print test and check the print head and make sure it's printing properly. So I'm going to do that next. All right, guys, so I don't know why, but I was having trouble getting the BN20 utility to pop up. That's this thing right here. Um, usually it pops up every time that you open up VersaWorks and it starts printing and it'll be kind of like behind this page in the background but it wouldn't pop up and I was struggling trying to get it to pop up and the way I was able to do that it just dawned on me every time I pull out an ink cartridge and put it back in it'll pop this up so right here it has adjustment and under adjustment it has check nozzle condition it has cleaning the nozzle and all that so I'm gonna check the nozzle condition right now I'm going to do test print, and it's going to do a test print for me. It says test printing, please wait, something like that. You'll see what that looks like real quick. As you can see, it doesn't take long at all. And what you're looking for is to see if there's any segments that are missing here. And out of all of this, I have one magenta segment that's missing. Um, you gotta look real close up to see that. Let me see, I'm gonna cut the page off and show it to you. One magenta segment missing. To, to me guys, that's not even worth doing a, a cleaning. That's not even worth cleaning it. All right, so let me see if I can show it to you here. So, I don't know how well that's gonna be in focus, but um, over here, there's one little segment of magenta that's missing. See that? It's pretty dang good. And this is without cleaning it in several months. I haven't cleaned it in several months. So as long as you use it every day, it's gonna be pretty good. Sometimes the black starts to get clogged up and that's when you need, need to do a nozzle cleaning. But right now, guys, it's good. I don't need to clean it. Yeah, guys, so there you go. I don't really see any need to do any cleaning on this one. This time everything looks good. But if you were to want to, you can just go ahead and do um, a nozzle cleaning there you can click off this and it'll say normal cleaning medium cleaning or power cleaning normally i just start off with a normal cleaning see what sort of results you get you do the cleaning and then you go back and do the nozzle check again you can do a cut adjustment the cut calibration and all that right there but i don't use this as a cutter now uh, since i have the graph tech but anyways that's how you do it and like i said my main thing my main takeaway from you know for y'all from this video is the fact that as long as you're using your Roland BN20A on a regular basis you shouldn't really need to worry about maintenance um, the regular use is the maintenance so that's the way that I treat the machine and so far it's worked you know fingers crossed flawlessly for me I've had a few very very small little hiccups and they were traced to other issues that were really user error more than anything so um, yeah, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Uh, and, and and really, real quick, just the the errors I I was having were caused by things I was doing wrong. Like I already talked about, like I was letting the material hit the ground, move on the ground, and then I was putting it back in the machine to cut it, and it was getting getting lint and dirt and stuff up in the print nozzle, and that'll jam it up and mess it up. So definitely don't do that. 
I cleaned it immediately afterwards and it started working again, but immediately when I printed afterwards, it wouldn't print properly. It was all jammed, it was all clogged up. So don't do that. Um, and then another time, it was the same thing. I was printing real far. I was printing like banner material or something that was really long and I didn't let it come out properly and it was getting twisted as it came out. And one of the pinch roller clamps got, um, it got too much pressure on it and it and it actually bent up the clamp so i ended up having to buy a new clamp and replace that so that's the only real issue that i've ever had with it and that was all caused by stuff that i was doing wrong so so far the machine has been great uh it is slow for printing but as long as you're not trying to print thousands of stickers that's okay if you're doing hundreds it's fine um, but yeah once you do over a thousand it's it's pretty slow but anyways, that's it for the Roland BN20. So to conclude, I don't do any maintenance. I just fix something whenever something goes wrong. And so far, that's been only a few times since I've had the machine. So anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.